start over. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is going to be an update on my starter locks. If you watch my previous video, you'll know that I started my locks with mini twists or two strand twists. And it's been officially a month now and I just want to give you guys an update on what I'm doing. So <laughs> please excuse my appearance. I just finished washing my hair. My hair is still a little damp. I'm going to get ready. Um, I'm going to retwist today. I'm so nervous. I've never retwisted my own hair before. So like I'm super, 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 super nervous about it. I hope it comes out right. I'll come back and um, show you guys the finished results. So what I'm going to use to retwist my hair today is just black sea gel. I already washed my hair. I pre-pooed. I shampooed really well. I didn't deep condition. I haven't deep conditioned this entire month and I've washed my hair about three times and I'm not noticing any issues with it. I do use a leave-in that's really light but it also moisturizes and then I seal with a little bit of an oil. So I haven't had any issues with dryness. Uh, so. So what have I been doing for this past month? So this whole entire month I've just been wearing my hair in a halo braid. Um, at the end of the video, the last video I show you guys when I finished my hair it was in a halo braid. I just kept it in that style. The first week I washed my hair after one week because I, I noticed build up on my scalp and I don't usually get build up on my scalp so I just shampooed it. And then um, I shampooed it again after the end of week two because I had the same issue. I didn't have that issue going forward so I just waited till uh, the two week mark to shampoo. Going forward I'm not really sure um, what my shampoo schedule is going to be like. I'm, I'm the type of person I don't like dirty smelly hair um, so I have to figure out a shampoo schedule that's going to work for me so I'll keep you updated with that. I do work out you know ever so often and I do sweat. So I have to figure out a balance with um, shampooing my hair. You guys, after the first week of installing these, I wanted to take them down. It, my hair just looks so flat and there wasn't really much I could do with it. So I was really discouraged. I wasn't really sure how the locks were going to look. And then, you know, I had my problem area in the middle. So I was so tempted to comb these out after like the first week. But... I'm glad I did it. Like the month went by super fast and I'm excited about how they're looking. Still very much so have the two strand twist pattern pattern. I don't think that's gonna go away for a while. Uh what else? Oh my hair has been growing pretty nicely. Um so I don't think that's all new growth. You can't see my scalp anymore after a month. I noticed like after every wash it looks like my hair is like I have more new growth so I don't know if that's all new growth that's happening right now or it's just for me washing my hair and maybe the twist coming undone a little bit in the back where my hair is softer um, the twist like they came out except for towards the end the towards the end it stayed together but at the roots it came undone and I expected that because that's how the back of my hair is it's a really soft texture I want to say it's in like the type 3 range it's really soft it's really loose like it's not like the rest of my head that's pretty much 4C and the only other place where the twist came undone is in the very front where my hair is really soft so I'll just have to twist that back up and here so I've decided to twist my roots versus interlocking because I don't know how to interlock. I tried interlocking one just to see how, you know, come out, but it took forever just to try to interlock that one and I didn't really like it. It just felt stiff. So I'm going to stick to twisting the roots. Also, I'm noticing a lot of growth in my problem area, which tells me that I just needed to leave my hair alone. <laughs> Because I, I, before deciding to lock my hair, I was manipulating my hair a lot. I was wearing it out all the time and uh, styling it probably like two, three times a week to keep the twist out. I am noticing though that I feel like I had a bald spot in this area. 
and didn't know it because I'm noticing like a lot of short fuzzy hairs like the hair is growing back I guess so I feel like there's an area here where it looks like I could put like two or three twists in there so I feel like at one point I might have had a bald spot but it's growing in it, it, it you know it makes me feel a certain kind of way that my hair is like jacked up in the middle but it's growing in so what are you gonna do so let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about like a lot of short really short pieces so not in my breakage video I mentioned I had breakage not necessarily like hair falling out from the root now I feel like I had hair falling out from the root because now that it's growing back it's really short and fuzzy it like it's like brand new hair you know what I mean so that's what's going on um, there's I haven't been styling my hair much I've just been keeping it moisturized and oiling my scalp and keeping in that halo braid I do want to wear it down though but I just feel like it's so short and um, there's not much I can do with it I got a lot of shrinkage like if I pull this out I feel like maybe if I kept retain the length of that shrinkage and it was really thick I could probably wear it down but that's not the case right now so that's what I've been dealing with for this past month I just want to give you guys a quick update I'm gonna go ahead and twist my roots <laughs> like pray for me everything goes well and then I'll show you guys what um, it looks like I am worried about you know maintaining the retwist um, I, I've heard like a lot of people say that the retwists don't really last, last that long which is why a lot of people um, gravitate towards interlocking but you know we'll see what happens I know that I'm after retwisting I'm probably not gonna wash my hair for like a week or two maybe like two weeks but um, hopefully it holds with flaxseed gel um, so yeah, that's about it. I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Hi guys. Um, so I'm done retwisting my hair. This is what it looks like. It's really flat. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my little um, halo braid. But I retwisted with the flaxseed gel. It gave me a pretty good hold. Um kind of worried about it coming undone so I'm not going to do anything with it for a couple of weeks but that's what it's looking like yeah okay so, guys so I'm done with the halo braid I just wanted to come in really quickly and show you guys how it turned out I really like how it came out my my uh, retwist came out really well I was worried when I was doing the halo braid that I was going to disturb the retwist and it was going to come undone but it stayed intact and I think this is going to help it last for a while um not going to manipulate my hair too much I'm going to tie it down every night so um the next time I probably take this down will be to moisturize my hair and then I'll just put it back up so we'll see how long it lasts I was thinking about semi free forming but after waiting a month and seeing how puff my roots were and how my hair looked after a month without uh, retwisting I decided that the semi free form of life is not for me so um, as far as retwisting it's going to depend on my hair growth uh, I try to keep it monthly or um, every two months we'll see how it works I have to figure out a schedule as far as washing my hair now after retwisting I'm not sure when that's going to be um, once I feel like the retwist is solid and it's not going to come out then I'll probably uh, wash it maybe after two if I push it to three weeks then I'll push it to three weeks but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what my hair looks like I'm like I'm loving this journey I can't wait till my hair like finally locks and I don't have to worry about it coming undone the retwist took a very long time it took all night not because um, of how much uh, locks that I have but because I just it was my first time doing it on my own hair and then the back was pretty much it had come undone pretty much so I had to do the back over but um it took forever hopefully the next time I do it it won't take that long um because hopefully it would have started to like lock so anyways I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching thanks for subscribing thanks to my new subscribers and thanks for those of you who have stuck with me even though 
um, I'd done something completely different to my hair. But see you in the next video. Bye!